Hey there, it's Dennis from PC Tesla Guy. Today I'm just doing a follow-up to my uh, charging a Tesla with an extension cord. In that video I said that uh, you could use a 30 amp RV a dongle adapter to the 50 amp cord which I purchased and uh, one of my uh, one of, I had a comment on that video that I had it wrong and so I'm here just to correct that so you can use a special 30 to 50 and I think it's a 30 P and we'll put the link down at the bottom but anyway I'll show you what it looks like it virtually looks like the other one let's go take a look Okay, so you can see I've got it plugged in here to the 30 amp uh, outlet, and this is my 50 amp extension cord. So this adapter is used for like generators. It has like some grounded piece. So um, I did pick this up, but I'll put the link down in the description, but it does work. So let's go ahead and take a look at the charging. Okay, so one thing that you need to do is you have to set the maximum amount of amperage that can go through that cable. So being that it's a 30 amp breaker, 80% of that is 24. So you can do anywhere from 24 or 20 to 24. I'm doing 20 just as a, a test. And you can see up here at the top, so you can see right there, I'm getting about two kilowatts at 20 amps at 118 volts. So it's like two point something. And I can turn it up. To 24. And that will give you about three kilowatts. Um, not much of a difference. So uh, for camping, I, I would leave it at the 20 just to make sure you don't know what kind of power pedestal that they're dealing with at those places. I'll just switch mine back down to 20. But anyway, um, that's just a quick video, just to touch base on, uh, uh, I misspoke on that video saying that you could use an RV 30 to 50 and, and you can't, you need to use the 30 to 50. I think it's a 30 P to 50. It, uh, you can purchase it on Amazon. And again, it's used for like generators where you're using the 30 amp plug have a good day. Thanks for watching.